Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a um, tulip Barbie sweater. We're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a Barbie sweater. I'm using scrap yarn. It's all fingerling yarn or sock yarn or baby yarn, whatever you want to call it. It's just like, it's just a nice thin yarn, okay? I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with our white as our main color. And to start, I cross my yarn. Now I had someone comment that they wondered why I cross my yarn and I don't do a slip knot. I just was never taught to do a slip knot. I started crocheting when I was three or four and my mom would get me to do chains when we were driving out to wherever we were going camping. And I don't think I could figure out a slip knot, so I just crossed my yarn. So I cross my yarn, and then we're gonna chain 24. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now we are going to chain two more. So 24 plus two. Now the reason I explain it like that is because we want 24 stitches. The pattern we are doing, you need to have multiples of three. So the two at the end is just to get us up to where we need to be to do our stitches. So going into the third chain from your hook, you're going to do a half double crochet, okay? So to do a half double crochet, yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. So we're going to do two rows of this and you should have 24 stitches. So do that and meet me back. Okay, so I did my 24 stitches. So now I'm at the end of the row. Taking my green, we're going to start the petals. So we're going to use the green to chain up two. One, two. We're going to turn our work. We're gonna skip two stitches. We're gonna do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, one, two. In the same stitch, another half double crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two. Okay, and in the next one, we're doing half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Okay, so skip two, one, two, in the next one, half double crochet, chain two, one, two, half double crochet in the same stitch, skip two, and repeat. So do this to the end of the row. When you get to the end of the row, I'm going to come back and just show you how to finish off the row. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. I skipped two and in that last stitch, I'm doing my half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Okay. Now, if you haven't already, leave a bit of a tail for sewing in. You can cut the, the white yarn. Okay. Now, over here, we are going to chain up two with our 
now this is our flower color. I'm using yellow, but you didn't have to, right? We're going to chain up two. Now in the space between our two half double crochets, we are going to do a partial half double crochet. Okay, so here's the trick to it. So I'm going to start over. So yarn over into that space, yarn over, pull through, go through two loops. Okay, you have two loops on your um, crochet hook at this time. We're going to do five of those. So that was one, two, so you're only doing half, three, four, oops, that one didn't work. Sorry. Stop slitting yarn. Four. And see, this is the problem with putting clay on your hooks. I went too high on my hook, so I'm running out of room to hold those loops. So don't make the mistake I did. Okay, we have six loops on our crochet hook, okay? But five loops in that center. Yarn over, and we're going through all those things. We're chaining two, one, two, and we're reaching for our next space, okay? So, a half, half double crochet, five times. Two, three, Four, five, six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, go through all six loops, chain two, and go to your next space. Do this to the end of the row and meet me back. And that's the spaces I'm talking about are in between the two half double crochets that are in the same stitch. Okay, do that all the way across, meet me back. When you get to the end, you're going to have one last flower. You're going to do your chain two, and then you're going to do a half double crochet into the chain two on the side. Oh, sorry, this yarn is just nasty to work with. because it keeps slitting. There we go, okay? So I cut my green, by the way. So now you're gonna reattach your white. Okay, you're gonna chain up two, one, two. Turn your work. So now you're gonna do half double crochets across 24 stitches, okay? So I kind of went in the space, uh, so that's one, two, three, I'm going to go in the space again, four, make sure you have 24 stitches at the other side and you're going to do two rows and then we'll do another row of the tulip just like we did. So the green and then the yellow and then um, we'll do two more rows of the white, and then you can meet me back. So we did two rows right white, one of the green, one of the yellow. We're going to do two more rows white, one green, one yellow, two more rows white, and meet back. Great. Okay, so I've done, we've done the skirt now of the dress. So now we're just going to do six more rows of white. So six more rows of right, white, half double crochet, meet me back. So that will give you a total of eight with the two you've already done. So six more and then meet me back. Okay, so I've done my rows. Let me zoom in a bit. I've done my eight rows. So now we're just chained up one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to single crochet in four. One two, 
three and four. We're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are gonna skip four, two, four. Then we're gonna single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna skip four. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna single crochet four. One, two, three, and four. Grabbing our scrap green. <coughs> Pardon me. We're gonna chain one with the green, and then we're gonna single crochet four. One, two, three, four. We are gonna slip stitch six into this chain. So, Bear with me here, I'm working around the camera. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to slip stitch six. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, four, five. Okay, I missed one in the beginning. And it happens, don't worry about it. So this was my eighth, and I missed this very first one. Make sure you get all of them. You wanna get six, always count. Oh, there we go. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, and then we're gonna single crochet to the end. So four more. Two, three, four. Then we're gonna grab our yellow. And this just so the top ties in with the bottom, right? Slip stitch that in, and then we're going to single crochet for four. One, two, three, four, and now we're slip stitching into the green. 
only one side of it, okay? So one, two, oops, three, Now we're going to single crochet for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to slip stitch only into the green on one side. One. Oops. Two. <laughs> it's challenging. Three. and six and single crochet for four one two three and four okay so cut all your tails pull your tail through your loop and pull tight now we get to hide threads. So when you're looking at it, this is your front. So where it kind of curves at the bottom here like this, that's the front of your work. So now if you had a long enough tail from when you began, you can use it to sew up to the end of that second row. Okay of the the white on the top here but if you don't like me um i'm just gonna hide all my threads and then i'll do another working thread so anyway hide your threads meet me back okay so i've hidden all my threads so now see here how this curls under so that's the back side so with the right sides facing okay like this we're going to take our sewing yarn and starting at the bottom, we're going to leave a little bit of a tail. Okay. And we're just going to do two stitches at the bottom because it's going to be one of the big stress points. Okay. And then we're going to line it up and we're just going to do what's called a whip stitch all the way up to we're even going to go through the green and yellow even though this is white yarn okay so we're just doing what's called a whip stitch so you take a little bit from each side but you're always starting in the same direction so you always are the same side Okay, and there we go. We're just gonna keep it as even as possible. And we're basically making a tube. Okay, and this is where that two rows that I was talking about comes in. And then we did the six extra, the six extra was the like bodice of the dress so we want to go all the way up okay so i'm getting to those two rows okay 
Okay, oops. Of course, every time I catch it. So I want to go right, so there's what row one and this is row two. I just turned my work so it's gonna get confusing. So I put it back the way it was. Okay, another whip stitch here. We're gonna put a second one, exact same location, just because this will be one of the stress points. Okay. Now to make a knot, you go in, make a loop, take that loop, go around it once, go around it twice, and then you're gonna pull that tight. You never cut where you're not, so we're just gonna take our thread and go through a few stitches. And then we'll cut our sewing yarn. Okay, we're gonna wanna hide this one. Okay, again, just go through a few stitches. And I'm not going all the way to the front. I'm just going in between like the fibers. I'm not going to the front of the work. Okay, snip that. Now we're ready to sew on our snap. So you're gonna want it right side in. I think it's so cute. Okay, so right side in. Our little tulips, aren't they? cute adorable okay so now on the back i get these snaps so i uh bought extra i'm gonna go with the six millimeter snaps i don't know if you can see that six millimeter snaps and they're just snaps that you sew on uh oh could be a challenge with my nails ah got it so you want the boy part on one side and the girl part on the other. Um, when I sew on snaps, I just use proper sewing thread. Okay. So... I'm going to thread this needle. Oh my goodness. This needle head is so much smaller than the yarn needles. And I'm working around a camera. Okay, hang on. I'll have to do this off camera because I'm not this talented. Maybe I'll find a bigger needle. Ah, that has a bigger eye. Okay, I found a different needle. Okay, so I should be able to do this one, no problem. There, see, like I'm a pro. Okay, so this is the part that you push into the other part. So I'm gonna put it on the white, okay? So, oh, it's hard with these nails. So, here we go. Now, I didn't put a knot because what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch that loop. See what I did there? Can you see it? I caught that loop. Okay, and then I'll pull tight. And now I'm just going to go through this each hole a few times. So then I'll move on to the next hole. Yeah. Okay. So you do. So on your snap, meet me back. And there you go, guys.
There's our Barbie's beautiful little tulip dress. Isn't she cute? So I hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and uh, tune in next Thursday. I try and do a new tutorial every Thursday. Have a great day. Bye now.